Hello everyone, so the game here and welcome back to another crossout episode. And we have a new update, 9.80. It brings us new pack, new mod, and of course buffs and nerfs. Let's check them out. And here we go, we have the new pack called Hanvan. It's available until 16 July. Yeah, and this is the cheapest pack in this game right now, 7 bucks. <laughs> we have a new horn, player, sticker, and the paint. Let's test it out. Shift. Looks cool. And let's hear the new horn. Something like that. Immediately I want to try something else. You can put it horizontally. So you can make a smoke screen. That's great. Let's put maximum. Ah, oh, it's limited, guys. For fuck's sake. You can only put two of them. Let's see. Can we? Ah, not a big deal. <laughs> like if there was no limit, maybe if you can put 20 players you can drop the fps of the enemy players <laughs> easily and as you can see here's the new mod two weeks left you can play it quite funny you have to be level 10 to play this and if you're gonna win nine times you'll get miners container as you can see here's the items that you can get from this container Rocket League meets Cross Out. It's a 3 vs 3 soccer game. The game lasts 5 minutes. You can group up with your friends as well. Uh, you cannot destroy the enemy team. The team that scored more goals against the opponent wins. In the case of tie, an overtime is added to the regular time. If during an overtime neither team scores a goal, then the match ends in a draw. From June 7th to June 14th, the Steel Championship replaces all other brawls and is always available. Now let's check the buffs and nerfs. First of all, I would like to show you a single nerf in previous patch, 9.75. They nerfed uh, the spike one again. Reloading speed reduced by 22%. Weapon rotation speed reduced by 15%. Now let's check the buffs and nerfs of the current update. 9.80, here we go, they buffed the werewolf cabin. Now drone which appears after the destruction of the cabin is invulnerable for one second. A really good decision from the devs. Increased drone structure from 100 to 200. Damage from drone destruction increased by 30%. Now suicide drone gonna turn much faster. Maximum drone speed increased by 17%. It got 5 buffs. Actually, it's not a cabin buff, but the suicide drone buff. Now it's gonna be a little bit more effective. Small track, we have buffs. Lateral traction of the track is increased by 50%. Angular velocity increased by 25%. Hardened track, lateral traction of the track is increased by 25%. Angular velocity increased by 25%. General, the cooling time of the parts is increased from 1 to 5 seconds. So guys, this uh, actually really strong buff, I'm gonna explain. Imagine you have a porcupine or aurora, you're heating up the enemy. Instead of one second, they will stay heated five seconds. That means you or your team gonna deal the max damage much longer. Wow. So this buff works for Aurora, Incinerator, Draco, Porcupine and Mandrake, you know. Really cool buff. Mine Layer Fortune. Projectile structure increased from 10 to 50 points. <laughs> Guys, if you notice that, they keep buffing the Fortune Mine Layer, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, it's still bad. Like, keep buffing it, devs. Keep buffing it. One day it will be good. Turret barrier, 9. Hold durability increased by 40%. Shield size increased by 38%. Catapult incinerator. Like, in fire starters, the only good weapon that I like is junk bow and phoenix. But incinerator and fortune, they're disaster. Terrible. 
Reloading speed is increased by 17%, rotation speed is increased by 100%, projectile explosion damage increased by 50%, here we go, projectile flight speed increased by 13%, minimum aiming angle reduced by 25%, fire puddle radius increased by 57%, the rate of hitting the parts from the fire poles increased by 50%. Bit better, bit better. Hammerfall. Don't worry guys, they didn't nerf it. Not yet. Changed weapon model. Harpoon Skinner and Mine Lair Cup can. Now the harpoon hits the target, the cable cannot be disconnected for one second. Woohoohoo! That's what I call a buff! Guys, that means imagine you lay in a mine trap and the enemy goes with the full speed. Six Hermes booster. The maximum speed, and he's too heavy. Now Cap can, can stop that player. Before that, yeah, you know, it was like you're going with the full speed, harpoon, it will break, you're not losing the speed at all. Now let's check the hardware. Weapon booster tormentor. The amount of additional damage dealt is increased by 66%. Reloading speed is increased by 17%. Oh, that's some serious buff there. Lucky for you, tormentor users. The mechanics of the radiators have been changed. They no longer increase the hitting limit of the weapons and modules, but reduce the hitting received from each use, for example, from each shot. So we do not have heavy nerfs, only buffs. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out. Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom.